Hi. So look, we got the results back from your fluid tests, and the ascites is being caused by your liver. <sighs> Figures. I quit drinking for five months and it gets pissed off. Yeah, well, that's a little bit more than pissed off. The results from your function study show end-stage liver disease, which means you'll need a transplant very soon. You've got to be kidding. No. So what now? We get you listed with UNOS. It's an organization that governs transplants. But I can't pay for this. I can't even afford baby clothes, I know, remember? I know, I know, I know, Jill, but I've already processed the forms of Medicaid. A social worker is going to come and talk to you, and she's going to evaluate your fitness for the transplant. I have to pass a mental test? You just have to be honest. It's important. Hey, what are you doing? Processing Jill's data before the committee meeting. Why? They found some ANA and SMA antibodies in her liver enzymes. Feels like I'm missing something. What you missed is the surgery. Dr. Bavel, using the Reposo system? <sighs> so? It was cool. That's all. It was like, a, like it's a robot, you know? The guy's unstoppable. You know what I was thinking? Wait, wait, Ryan, hold that thought. Jill Hollis is not a viable candidate. She can barely take care of herself. She's hi, got... Hi, I apologize. I'm sorry I'm late. Come on, we're talking about your patient right now. May I continue? Yeah, please. Go ahead. I cannot recommend Jill Hollis for transplant. Per my interview with her, she's an admitted drinker who just terminated the only long-term relationship she's had, leaving her with no means of support. Additionally, she had a false pregnancy. That she carried into its six months without any regard for medical no, care. No, 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 no. There was no baby. She didn't know that. Well, you're right, but because she believed she was pregnant, she gave up every bad habit she had, which I think shows an ability to be a good steward for the liver. The fact remains, though, Jill Hollis needs a liver transplant because she drank this one into disuse. No, she didn't. I ran a liver biopsy. And all the symptoms that made Jill believe she was pregnant, the fatigue, the nausea, the belly distension, even the loss of her periods, are all indicative of autoimmune hepatitis, which is a congenital condition. So her liver was going to fail regardless. Exactly. Look, we can't just overlook her personal instability. And we also can't overlook all the effort she's made, and I believe she can do this. I do, too. So let's put it to a vote. Hi. We got you listed. And now what? We go the distance. Keep you clean, keep you healthy. Wait for a good liver. And then I just walk off into the sunset? Pretty much. Some very strong anti-rejection meds, yeah. And what about drinking? Smoking, you know, living? No, those are things of your past now. No, they aren't. Well, they're gonna have to be. Otherwise, I will take you off that list. Then take me off. Jill. Do you want me to lie to you? Tell you that I'll be clean and sober and love this liver like a baby? Is that what you want? No, I want you to get counseling. I want you to go to meetings. I want you to see this as a thing that you can handle. Something you've been handling. That's when I thought I was pregnant. What's the point now? The point now is that you get to live. I'm not gonna do it. No way. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you hear what uh, Andy and Luke pulled off today? First cyborg surgery at Three Rivers? I'm so sick of hearing about Luke. Well, what's your beef with him? He didn't tell you? Mm -mm. That's shocking. All right, when I was in med school, I came here to visit my father. And Luke and I went out, and we had a few too many. And... Really? Doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> Kind of seems like it did. No, it didn't matter then. And now just see him wandering around here just reminds me of a time in my life I'd much rather forget. Well, maybe you should embrace your past. And maybe you should embrace yours. I know what you're doing. Yeah, I'm leaving. 
Jill, your condition can be reversed. Let us help you. Sorry, I like my margaritas. That's not the real reason. You know what? You don't know me. I read the police report. I know you just didn't steal baby clothes. There were toys and bibs. You even took a little pink hat with matching mittens, didn't you? Okay. So what? So I think you wanted that baby. I think for the first time, you saw some real possibilities. And then it got taken away from you. And now you're scared to hope for anything. You're so young, and you can have whatever you want. You just have to take the first step forward. I'd already named the baby. Veronica, after the band. It's a good band. How about we get you healthy? Then you can have that baby and give her that name. Bobby. I'm in if you're in.